Yo, what's happening guys, it's Flo, and I'm here with Sly, and it looks like the Los Angeles Lakers brought UCLA guard Johnny Juzang in for a workout. Sly, what do you think about this? Yeah, he used to go to Kentucky, and he transferred to UCLA. Um, UCLA, he actually, his game stepped up. He averaged almost 16 points a game at UCLA. They went on that run, you know, that everyone remembers. Um, unfortunately, they lost. Um, he's a pretty solid player. I know his defense isn't the greatest, uh, but he's actually pretty solid on offense. He uh, averages what he's a uh, 43.2% field goal percentage, which is pretty solid. Um, solid rebounder. Um, not the best at uh, assist, but uh, I think he's a 1.8 assist a game. But I don't know, man. Uh, we need young bodies, so at the end of the day, we don't have any draft picks, so we're going to have to go to the bottom of the barrel, looks like, and try to get one of these undrafted free agents. And hopefully, uh, one of them or two of them could hit, because right now, it looks like we desperately need depth on this team, because like I said, last year, we were old as heck, and it just did didn't work out so we need to we need to find a way to get some young guys that could help contribute uh when lebron ad they're taking the rest we need these young guys to step up so who knows man what do you think yeah man um i understand why the lakers are looking at him obviously shooting guard after center is probably our biggest need um obviously i'm not sure if we're gonna be able to keep malik monk hopefully we do i really liked how malik monk played last year but malik monk is gonna need a backup because off the top of my head man last year our shooting guards i can't even remember who was literally out there most of the time and uh this guy he could spread space of four i remember he was hitting uh pretty big threes while he was at ucla he obviously played uh pretty good i think he was their main go-to scorer for the university and he has um that length he's about six foot seven so you know his wingspan is going to be uh, pretty big he's not the greatest defender but i know darvin ham uh, next year he's preached that he wants to make it a defensive team so hopefully darvin ham is able to convert whoever's on the lakers into defensive minded players and maybe with the uh, frame six seven long arms long wingspan hopefully he could be a defender because he has all the intangibles it might just be i'm not sure how his foot speed is but um obviously not having the draft picks we gotta look deep into this draft or even undrafted guys yeah man uh, darvin ham at the press conference yesterday he really was preaching defense and accountability so i think when i was hearing him talk i mean what he could do with these young guys i think he could help mold these guys into solid players like you said six foot seven man that's a great height right there uh so i mean I don't know, man. Like I said, this guy, they said he might be undrafted, so he doesn't have the best talent out there, but he was UCLA's one of the best players, and they did make it deep in the play, uh, the tournament. So, I mean, the kid has stats, and the, the fact is, man, if, if he's out there and he could do something for us, that would be huge because, like I said, our deep, our deep, uh, Depp last year was absolutely horrible. So hopefully uh, we can bring in some guys that could help us out. Yeah, and one cool thing about this guy, not basketball related, is his father is from this like your little European spot called uh, Creole, and his mom's a uh, Vietnamese. So as far off the top of my head, man, I don't know too many players that come from these areas. So that's kind of cool in itself, also. Mm -hmm. But anything else you got? No, that's pretty much it. It'd be interesting to see who we pick up in the undrafted free agent. You know, because this is always fun to see especially watching these young cats uh in the summer league you know seeing if these guys uh could help contribute to the team so um it's gonna be exciting to see you know we'll definitely be there watching those summer league games of who who the young cats that we brought in and hopefully some of these guys can step up you know so it's gonna be interesting all right well you guys like comment subscribe hit that notification bell we'll see y'all next time peace, peace.